today I'm reviewing the Isn't Tree Fresh Green Tea Emulsion. And really quick, I just want to say, I purchase these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsor ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsb.com, join my Patreon community, or click on the link below. Okay, so finally got a chance to review this. I had a long struggle with this one, really, where to use it in my routine. So it took me a while to get up to using it and figure out really where it fits. And uh, it's mostly kind of just up to the user because it's got a very nice texture, but it's kind of like, where does it really fit? It really doesn't fit anywhere. But um, anyway, we'll talk about that in a minute. So, okay. Cause a daily emulsion with green tea leaf, leaf extract from Jeju to deliver fresh hydration to the skin. Uh, it's infused with green tea extract to soothe and revitalize tired skin. Formulated with anti-sebum PHD to absorb excess oil for clear skin. Suitable for oily combination skin. Dermatologic, dermatologically tested, which doesn't mean anything. So just remember, none of those words mean I dermatologically tested, what means they had somebody tested. It doesn't mean if they said it was good or not. It just means somebody that was a dermatologist tested doesn't mean anything. So, okay, my first criteria, packaging. I really like the packaging of this one. No issues with it. Very easy. Great for travel. I love that it's in a pump bottle as opposed to like a jar or something like that. In terms of denatured or drying types of alcohol, it does not contain any of those. It's also fragrance-free. You might get a little bit of an herbal green tea scent to it, which should be kind of expected. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, the manufacturing location for this one is Korea. So for ease of use, so this is all they recommend using. How to use. Number one, after toning, take a moderate amount and apply to the entire face. Number two, pat for better absorption. They didn't really mention like where to put it. They mentioned after toning, but that was about it. So if I use it like that, I would say then it should be used before serums. So Although the texture of this one, I mean, it's a little bit thicker than a serum. It's more of a lotion texture. So for me, I found I need to use this after serums and treatments, but before thicker moisturizers, creams, things like that. So that might play into it for you, but it's very easy. It smooths into skin really nicely. I also found my neck really likes this. So I'll use it on my neck. Um, what I'll do is I'll apply their aloe soothing gel. Then I'll apply this. And then I'll apply a thicker product after that. So it's kind of iffy as to where it will fit in the routine for everybody. It might not be the same. Um, so I found I also like to use this in the daytime. Sometimes uh, in the summer, I found I really like to use it in place of like a thicker moisturizer. So it works well for that. So play around with it a bit. That's kind of what the big hurdle for me was to get over where it fits exactly because I feel like everything needs to have a routine. It's got to be this texture, this texture, and so that kind of stunted me for a while with this one. But overall, I found I like it. And especially for drier skin types in the winter, it's just an extra layer. There's nothing wrong with that, especially if you have dry skin in the winter time. Sometimes just an extra layer of something makes a huge difference, and this can do that for you. So, okay. Beneficial ingredients and antioxidants. So we've got, obviously, green tea extract, antioxidant and soothing ingredient. There are different qualities of green tea extract, so keep that in mind. Typically, the higher quality is, the darker the products will be. So the toner, the darker it is. Sometimes that is an indicator that it's a better blend. I say this one's pretty darn affordable, so it's probably not, like, compared to the more Pacific single vintage extract. Maybe it doesn't compare that. I, I don't know. Okay, then we've got beeswax, emollient, and thickening agent. We've got ginkgo biloba, skin protecting ingredient, antioxidant. We've got centella asiatica, antioxidant, skin soothing ingredient. We've got white willow bark extract, which is an anti-inflammatory ingredient that helps soothe skin. Uh, apart from uh, soothing salicin, it also contains flavonoids and phenolic acids that give willow bark tonic, astringent, and antiseptic properties. We've got blueberry extract, skin protecting ingredient, antioxidant, soothing ingredient. We've got pinus palestris leaf extract, anti-inflammatory ingredient, antimicrobial. We've got almus extract, which is an anti-inflammatory and photoprotective ingredient. We've got evening primrose extract, which is an astringent, oil-absorbing ingredient. We've got Peraria lobata root extract, which is a humectant that I've never heard of until today. We've got Alantlin, skin soothing ingredient. We've got beta glucan. I love it. It's a humectant. It's an antioxidant. It's a skin soothing ingredient. Uh, so I love that they put beta glucan in here instead of sodium hyaluronate. It's first product in a while without it in there. So 
And then finally, I've got licorice root extract, skin soothing and brightening ingredients. So really nice list of good beneficial ingredients, soothing ingredients, skin protecting ingredients, and antioxidants. Really wonderful list. Uh, in terms of animal testing, this is cruelty-free. I guess it's not vegan because they use beeswax. Uh, in terms of performance, it's really wonderful. It's nicely hydrating lotion. You know, I could see those with oilier skin just using this in place of a moisturizer and those of us with drier skin using this as an extra product to give us some extra soothing and hydration. Uh, really wonderful um, product. Uh, dry skin, great for as an additional product and very friendly for acne-prone skin. There's only one ingredient of note, and that is, can you guess it, cameraman? Acne-prone skin ingredient. Did you listen to anything I just said? Um, <laughs> oil. It starts with a B. Oh, I just gave it away, kind of. Butane. Starts with a B-E-E. -E. Beeswax. There we go. <laughs> Butane. Anyway, there we go. Uh, in terms of price, this is a full size. 120 milliliters, 4 Benzene. ounces. Benzene. There we go. Benzene. That's that great ingredient that we love to see in everything. <laughs> uh, so 4 ounces for $17. Makes it pretty affordable. And a little bit of it goes a long way. One pump usually covers my entire face and neck. So, Okay, in terms of the it factor. It's a great product. Various uses. Finding a perfect use for it was not super easy for me. Um, although it's nice for sensitive skin, acne prone skin. Um, probably will get more use of it again this summer. That's kind of when I started to get more use of it when I figured it was a great all in one moisturizer or oily skin, probably, probably more of an it factor there. But a really nice product. Their green tea collection from Isn't Tree is wonderful. The cleanser I love, the serum I love, the toner I love. This one I like. I like a love. I love, live. <laughs> There we go. So with a 10 being a perfect score, I gave this one a 9. Good product overall. So interest hearing from you guys. If you had a chance to check this one out yet, and if you have what your thoughts are, so leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.